Hello everyone, this is The Lock, and this is the Skeptic Wars podcast, where I talk about your favorite stories from the past week. Um, before I do uh, start talking about your favorite stories from the past week, I uh, first want to talk about uh, the site itself. I've made a couple of changes to it. Uh, the first one is the actual layout of the site itself. It um, I've done this to make it easier for you to navigate through and um, as you'll see when you scroll down the page um, you'll see um, the top 10 uh, favorite stories uh, from the past 30 days so if you want to check out uh, what other uh, readers have been checking out you can go there click on it and look at it uh, second thing want to talk to you about is um I've uh, got ads on the site now and uh, the reason why I've got ads on the site um, as you all know this is a f basically a free service this is a f site that freely um, gives excerpts of um, blog posts and news articles um, basically of interest to other skeptics um, and uh, you know I've been enjoying this I've been doing this for a year and a half now and you know I've been blogging about skepticism for actually about a couple of years now but um, unfortunately and I'll be honest I've been having uh, a little bit of financial issues lately um, I'm in a, uh, what's, a, uh, family-owned business, and it's the, it's a service industry business, and unfortunately, uh, the services haven't been very well, um, have been needed. We've had a few jobs that apparently have, um, never gone through. If anyone knows, anyone who works in the service industry probably knows what I'm talking about. Um, you know, when you, you are getting a job and it's probably going to be uh, several thousand dollars worth of work and uh, nothing happens. Uh, you know, that's that's a real bummer. And um, I decided uh, to monetize it and monetize this um all three of my sites. I've actually got two other sites. One's called The Soapbox and the other one's called Is That a FEMA Camp? And um, you know, I'll have links to both of them. You're probably already all aware of um, The Soapbox if you um, if you go to my uh, if you're a part of the um, Skeptic Wars Facebook page. But um, yeah. Um, you know, you know this this little monetization thing. You know that'll help me out. I don't see why not. I've seen a lot of uh, other bloggers have uh, a lot of other skeptical bloggers have uh, monetized their content to uh, some of my favorite ones like uh, Skeptical Raptor and um, uh, oh who is it? Who who else has monetized their content? Um, shoot. Um, oh, uh, this week in pseudoscience, they've also done that. Shh, don't tell anyone. But, um, yeah. So I really I can't see any um reason why not. So, you know, if you want to help out, um, click on an ad. All right. Uh, I'm not I'm not actually saying you should click on an ad, but you know, it does help. All right. Now on to the real stuff. Okay. Um, Ron Paul backed Nevada candidate vows to defund government to fight fluoride and chemtrails. And this is from the raw story. Uh, this is about a um, Ron Paul endorsed candidate for um, Clark County Commissioner. Her name is um, Cindy Lake. And apparently, she wants to defund the government in order to basically keep the government from um, 
fluoridating water and, um, you know, keep them from spinning um, imaginary chemtrails. It's it's kind of weird. Well, no, it's not actually weird. Um, Ron Paul kind of endorses a lot of um, uh, conspiracy theorists. I mean, conspiracy theorists are attracted to him. Ron Paul, you know, not just conspiracy theorists, um, kind of a anti-government, anti-federal type of conspiracy theorist. And apparently this is a woman who believes that fluoride's bad for you and that chemtrails are real. So, um, yeah, yeah, um, you be the judge. You read the article, you be the judge. All right, uh, next one. Woo, what a workout. And this is by Skeptoid. And, um, in this article, it talks about, like, um, dietary woo and, um, you know, sup, uh, vitamin supplements and stuff like that. And, um, you know, workout woo and, you know, what's better for you and what's not. Um, it gives a, talks about a few things. Um, really, um, some of the stuff is, you know, some of the stuff is, tet is correct, it is better for you to do, and, uh, some of the stuff is, um, not correct, it's not better for you, but, really, um, the best thing to do is just, um, exercise and eat right, eat more fruits and, uh, vegetables and not a lot of, um, junk food, don't, in fact, try to avoid junk food completely if you can. Alright, uh, next one, and, uh, this is very funny, um, Jenny McCarthy, Jenny McCarthy reveals that her young son calls the cops on her a lot, and this is from Mediate, and, um, on, uh, Jenny McCarthy's, uh, new Cyrus XM show, what the hell do people keep giving her radio shows anywhere, it's, 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 why do people give her any opportunities considering how much damage she's done. I mean, with her anti vaccination um um you know, stances. Um uh, apparently she revealed that her son, as everyone knows is autistic, um, constantly call calls the um, cops on her, um in one case, she went outside to smoke a cigarette, which, by the way, if someone smokes, don't take health advice from them. Um, and he called the cops on her because he thought she had abandoned him. And I imagine it's very scary for him. But, um, you know, that's, that's reasonable. That's, that's that's not unexpected um, with an autistic child they um, they just you know they take things to um, the extreme sometimes um, and then in another story uh, he called the police on her while she was driving because she was texting while she was driving and in order to avoid the cops um, going over and, you know, potentially um, catching her and potentially arresting her, she grabbed her son's phone and she threw it out the window. It is, um, it's, um, as one person on my um, Skeptic Wars Facebook page put it, um, a Apparently, her narcissism uh, doesn't extend and extend to um, you know just um, well, basically to put it to a point, um, you know, anti-vaccination apparently isn't her only thing when she comes to um, not caring about human life. Yeah. All right, next one, and um, this is actually uh, let me check here for a second. Uh, yes, this is the most popular one for the past week. It's 
the anti-vaccination movement has become an anti-vitamin movement and babies are suffering and apparently uh, many people who are anti-vaccination um, aren't allowing uh, doctors to um, give their children vitamin K shots basically it's not a vaccine it's um, a syringe filled with uh, vitamin K and uh, this is to um, uh, per, um, stop um, vitamin K deficiency bleeding which can be devastating it could even be dead it could uh, this can um, uh, lead to serious brain damage and yes as, as I said before death um, but uh, unfortunately apparently the anti-vaccination movement uh, that's bad enough alone the anti-vaccination movement it's bad enough alone it puts you know, uh, the people who are into it, they're putting these children at risk by not vaccinating, by um, encouraging parents not to vaccinate their um, children against um, childhood diseases, against um, like measles and mumps and, you know, diseases like that. But um, uh, now, it, I'm not sure if they're actually. Um, Encouraging them not to get the vax, the actual anti-vaccination movement is encouraging them not to get these um, vitamin K shots. But um, apparently, um, parents are just uh, misinterpreting uh, vitamin K shot for what it is. Apparently, it's like if it's in a needle, is a hypodermic needle, it's bad for you, and that is just not right. The only thing that it, uh, ever in a hypodermic needle that is bad for you is either liquid methamphetamines or uh, heroin. That's about it. Alright, uh, next one. Don't believe anything you read at Natural News, and that's self-explanatory. And this is by um, Gerst. And uh, basically, it's uh, talking about uh, Mike Adams, how he's been um, essentially advocating violence uh, for against uh, scientists and journalists. And, um, you know, Mike Adams, as you all know, he advocates against, if it has something to do with modern medicine, he advocates against it. It does not matter what it is. Uh, if it's um, antidepressants, if it's um, HIV, antiretroviral medication, if it's uh, vaccines, um, antibiotics, anything, he he advocates against it, and it's just it's amazing that this guy does this. It's amazing he's allowed to get away with this. And what's more amazing is he makes money off of it from um, uh, things like uh, ad revenue and selling stuff on his um, site. Um, I I actually checked. I believe his site's actually bigger than Infowars, if you can believe that or not. Um, I might have to check that check that again. But he certainly does have more followers on um, Facebook than InfoWars does so yeah. but anyways here's the thing if it's on natural news it's not real it's you just have to read it like that if it's on natural news it's not real and if some article contains a link to natural news that isn't advising you is, isn't using it as an example of why you shouldn't believe stuff from natural news be very skeptical of that article alright next one judge rules seriously ill boy 13 can be treated against mother's beliefs and this is from the telegraph and a uh, a judge in um, hold on let me let me take a look at this um, 
a judge recently in, I believe it might have been, um, a sense of the telegraph, I'm assuming that it's, um, in the, uh, UK, uh, recently ruled that doctors can, um, treat a boy, they can give a boy, uh, blood transfusions against the mother's belief, and the mother is a, uh, Jehovah's Witness, and, of course, Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't believe in blood transfusions, they believe it's a sin, which is totally, totally stupid, uh, there's really nothing in the Bible that says you can't have a blood transfusion, and, um, you know, it, it's really, really just stupid, not to mention really deadly. People have died from that. Um, wait a minute, I have to, actually it doesn't say where, where they're at. It, it actually, it actually doesn't say where they're at. Um, it, it, and, um, sorry. It doesn't say where they're at. I'm, I'm just assuming that's in um, the UK. But the judge has ruled the boy can receive medical treatments against the mother's will. All right. Uh, final one. Uh, final story for today. Uh, just chill. It doesn't matter that your ice cream sandwich, ice cream sandwich, don't won't melt. And this is from uh, the Skeptics Guide to the universe and what it is is that um, around the internet there's just been going around this uh, video about a um, ice cream sandwich ice cream sandwich I've been constantly calling it sandwich or some sandwich or something like that that was um, left out on in a um, in a dish on a patio for 12 hours and it uh, didn't melt, it, which I kind of find extraordinary, but now people are thinking that maybe it's not uh, safe because it was because it wouldn't melt. And this article explains that um, you know it's perfectly safe to eat. I mean, for an ice cream sandwich that, that is, I mean, you know. I mean, considering it's probably full of sugar and stuff like that, so it's about as safe to eat as any other ice cream sandwich. But, um, basically, um, you know, um, it's, it's safe to eat. You don't have to worry about it. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, you know, go ahead, have yourself an ice cream sandwich. There's nothing wrong with it. All right, so um, yeah, that's uh, well, that's it for this week's uh, podcast. I uh, certainly hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope you'll be back for next week's podcast. Uh, so uh, this is the lock saying, see ya.